Well, this is an ultrasound study of a 20 years old young male presented with the history of PU for the last one month and now uh, having severe pain in the right lumbar region. In front of uh, the uh, in front of the screen, you can see that uh, uh, the kidney, right kidney, has been focused and it measures 12.2 cm in length and 5.5 cm in anterior posterior diameter. So this is an alive uh, right kidney in a sense that more than 11 cm in length and more than 5 cm in anterior posterior diameter is considered to be an alive kidney. Now, if you note, there is uh, dilation of all the calluses. Upper pole, this is the upper pole. This is the mid region and this is the lower pole. You can see there is a lot of debris or sludge, uh, rather debris, seen mainly uh, in this view, in the uh, upper pole, uh, sorry, lower pole dilated calluses as well as mid region. And uh, this is a calculus shadow. So there is a calculus along with uh, slight uh, debris within the dilated uh, this is all debris this is the calculus giving shadow now the pyramid uh, these are the pyramids these few the cystic areas we are seeing are the pyramids this is the cortex the equigenicity of the parenchyma is normal and the thickness is preserved uh, tall regions and uh, this is a case of moderate hydronephrosis. Uh, so, uh, and you can see that the echogenicity of the kidney is almost equal to that of the liver. So, the echogenicity of the liver is normal. Uh, sorry, of the uh, regional parenchyma is normal. So, this is a right kidney with uh, debris and calculi within it. This is the upper pole. You see, we can see the debris. Uh, this is the uh, pyramid. This is the upper pole dilated canis. This is the parenchyma. So intact corticomedullary differentiation so far. And as we move further, now you see that there is a lot of sludge. Patient has fever with rigors. Uh, is having fever with rigors for the last few days. Now, if you see the low pole and the mid region, they are full of uh, low-level sludge. This is the low-level debris filling the, and it is mobile as well, uh, filling the uh, upper pole dilated calluses and the mid-region dilated calluses. Whereas uh, this part is clear, though uh, this is hydronephrosis, this is uh, urine, this is uh, dilated calyx. But the parenchymal equigenicity and the uh, thickness is preserved in this region. This is the source muscle on which it's, it, it is gliding. Again, you can see small amount of debris is seen within the uh, upper pole calluses. Better curve it closer. Now you can see that there are even larger calcula seen. And this is the largest one. This one. This is the larger one, and this is in the renal pelvis that measures, uh, renal pelvis uh, measures approximately uh, 19 into 17 uh, millimeter uh, with the calculus measuring approximately, sorry, the pelvis measures. 17 millimeters, the calculus in length measures 19 millimeters, these are the upper pole calluses, upper pole calluses, dilated calluses, and this is the right kidney that we are studying. So this uh, large calculus impacted in the non-dilated renal pelvis is the cause of uh, hydronephrosis, which is again now the cause of uh, uh, pyonephrosis as well because this debris, yellow debris. Now in this scanning plan, 
you see that this is laid out every scene in all the dilated calluses, which is suggestive of pus. Uh, and uh, keeping in view the history of the patient that is having fever with rigor as well, see the pyramids are prominent. These, this is a pyramid. This is not a dilated callus, and uh, this is a direct, uh, prominent pyramid, not a dilated callus. This is the dilated callus. These are, this is a dilated callus filled with uh, debris, and uh, so this is in fact uh, a case of pyonephrosis with nephrolithiasis. This is the right kidney. Now you see this is the calculus in this scanning plan. And uh, the D, D, D will denote the uh, debris. Wherever written denotes debris. Sorry. Now P, den P denotes to pelvis. Uh, sorry, pyramids, pyramids. This is a pyramid. So P denotes the pyramid. This is the calyx. And uh, this is the upper pole. This is the lower pole. This is the upper pole. Now see that the left kidney is normal. See there you No calculus seen. Parenchyma normal. No hydronephrosis. The urinary bladder is normal. No finding. Prostate is normal. No finding. Uh, and so this is a case study that is uh, consistent with pyonephrosis of the right kidney along with uh, nephrolithiasis with the main cause being the calculus that is impacted in the non-dilated uh, non-dilated renal pelvis. What is called uh, or what is meant by Xanthogranulomatous pyelonephritis. So, this is a case of xanthogranulomatous pyelonephritis. Thank you very much.